Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is our lesson 11 on test project automation tool concepts. As you all know, I have already published 10 YouTube videos covering different topics like web UI automation, mobile automation and uh, artificial intelligence within the test project and uh, parallel testing, cross browser testing, cross platform testing and all other concepts um, related to automation. So in this lesson, I'm going to concentrate on the reusable test scripts. How can we build reusable test scripts or how can we build reusable tests in test project and how can we use tests multiple times. Basically, how can you reuse the tests in test project while automating different test cases? Okay, so I'm going to tell you with a proper example so that you will understand this particular concept. Okay, so please do subscribe to the channel. Click on bell icon. You will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos on these concepts. Thank you. Okay, so why do we need reusable scripts? I think so you all know whenever you automate any given application, right? So you might have a reusable test steps that you will be performing for multiple test case automation. For example, let's say you have a login functionality. So once you log in, so let's assume you need to verify the registration functionality. And then once you log in another test case, you might need to validate update user details, right? And in another test case, you want to automate a functionality of validating the home page. And probably in another test case, you want to automate a registration process, right? So for all these test cases to automate, the login is a reusable function. That means you have to perform login for every test case. And also logout. Logout also is a reusable function that you will be performing for most of the test cases. So, and hence, we need to create a reusable test that you can reuse in multiple test scripts. Okay. So, now, Let's uh, jump onto the system and see how can we create reusable tests and then how can we reuse the tests in multiple test cases by using test project. Okay. Okay. So I have logged into my test project.io and let's create a new test. Okay. So let me create a new test. Let's select web and then click on next. Name this as login reu test. Click next. And I have already added my application, which is free test project, which is actually the application which has been provided by test project team. Okay. It's a free test pro, uh, application. Okay, so how to add these applications? So I already explained you in my previous videos. I would suggest you guys to visit uh, my previous videos before you watch this session. Okay, select that and then click on next. So now click on record and then start recording. So as soon as you click on start recording, it opens the application in the new window. Okay, opening a recorder in a new window. So if you see here, this is the new application that has been opened in a new new window. Okay. So this application is a sample application provided by test project. Okay. So let me record the login functionality. Okay. Okay. So if you see here the navigate URL. Okay. Now let's enter my name and then enter the password right and then click on login that's it 
So once I click on login, that's what I want to record. Okay. And now let's close the browser. So when I log in, test is ready for me. So let me open this. I want to delete a click also whenever, wherever I scroll down, right? It recorded. I don't want to scroll down. I don't need to scroll down and click text box and then type Ravikant. So I need not to click on the text box, but I can directly type. In the same way, I need not to click password. I can directly enter the password, right? Save and exit. So let's execute this once and see if it works. Next, run. So it's going to open the application and then it's going to perform login. Okay. Yeah, it's opened the browser and then it's going to enter the name and password. That's it. So it's done. So this test is passed. Okay. So now let me create another new test. Okay. So let's create another new test by using the same application. Now just name this as registration test. Registration test. Click next and select the same application that we have used earlier and click on next click on record and start recording so let me record from the beginning okay so now it's going to open your application okay so now let me okay let's the explorer get open the ui okay it's still processing Okay, so now let's enter the username, enter the password and then click on login. Now let's select the country. Okay, let's select the country as India and provide some address one two three four provide the email and provide the phone number and save this so it's saved okay i want to validate whether it is saved or not okay for that double shift validate contains text okay so done so now our recording is done right close it so I performed registration test so let's open this and, and let me remove unnecessary steps click on the password i just want to remove uh, and then scroll down i just want to remove click login button select in okay click country uh, enter address I don't want to do so basically I'm just removing click uh, fun, uh, the click functions where I'm typing okay okay so now let's save and close so because in registration process I don't want to perform login again right so that's why I want to remove the let me remove my login process whatever the steps I perform the URL opening the URL typing the username typing the password clicking on the button so I don't want to have these steps again in the registration right so for that I want to delete it so delete these steps I'm deleting the steps and save and exit so now this is the test so now this is the test to perform only registration only registration test okay so and this one is to perform only login right so now let me do one thing 
let's open this login reusable test right oh, sorry let me open my registration test okay so to perform registration if i want to automate this registration step first i need to have a login correct for that what i'm going to do in this registration test i'm going to call the reusable test that i have created which is a login reusable test okay for that add test as a step this is adding a step manually this is add test as a step when you click on add test as a step if you see you already have a login reusable test so that we automated login functionality right select this if you want to use the one parameter which is url right i want to use that yes and save the step done so if you see the login step is here now i want to put this login step at the beginning right that means login test okay save and exit if you again let me open the test again registration test if you see first i am calling a reusable test here which is login reusable test and then i am performing registration okay so let me do one thing save and exit now let's run this test once okay and see how it works okay so when i run this step first it should perform login by using reusable test that we created right click on run so and see first it's going to perform login test okay so now it's opened the web browser it should open the web browser and then it should open the url yep see it's performing login by using reusable test and then immediately it's uh, performing registration functionality right and save it done so now let me create another test okay let me create another test so instead of creating another test um uh, okay let me create a new test okay so go to web next log out reusable next and then free test project next record start recording so it's going to open your url so i'm going to record again enter test okay so you need not to record entire test actually see you have to just open uh, let me tell you so let me just do it first okay and then i'll tell you what is the alternative method to automate a small pieces okay and this is ready so let me again log in right and then log in and then enter test email and then phone number and then save this so now i want to log out okay so just click on log out okay so done so let me close this so now this is log out reusable test open this test now i want to keep only one step which is log out step okay so just i want to delete all these okay steps you just uh, hold the shift key and then delete click on delete and confirm the delete so now i have only log out functionality here okay save and exit so let me open my previous registration registration test okay so if you see we already called one login functionality and then you are saving it after saving your registration i want to log out from the application for that again i want to add a test as a step add and here i want to use a reusable test called log out reusable test use this one parameter have it save the step 
okay so here if you see i have a logout so if you want to see this step you can just click on this sorry you can just click on this edit button so you can see this is your logout step right so now let's go back to again our registration test case okay so this is your registration test one test i'm calling another test i'm calling so whenever you are calling a test there will be a notation called test within the square bracket if there is no notation called test that means it's a step this is a test reusable test this is another reusable test for logout okay save and exit now let's execute this again now so now it should perform login right so when i execute this first it should perform login and then it should perform your registration and then it should perform logout okay so in this test case i'm using two reusable scripts one is login reusable script another one is logout reusable script okay so now it should open your browser it opened the browser and it enters the url now it performs login and it should save the registration you should complete the registration and save the registration and then log out so you need to log out see it's logged out right it's clicked log out also so that means our all the steps got passed out okay let's go to reports and see how it shows the reports okay the report shows here if you see this is your reusable step test sorry this is your reusable test called login reusable test if you see here it shows multiple nested has nested tests if i click on this nested test it's going to show you what are all the steps that has okay if you see here login reusable test has four steps you can expand these four steps within the login i have these many steps again go back now here and then we are performing registration everything is successful and then if you see everything is passed all are green color right and then it is actually calling another reusable test if you see here again it show it is showing nested test if you click here so you have only one step within the nested test which is log out again go back so that means if you see here even though you are calling a reusable test in the report you can see the specifically the steps which are related to reusable test also and then you can expand and see in detail what happened for each step of your reusable test right it's it's really great um, option uh, nice uh, reporting format provided by test project right hope you all understand how to create reusable tests or reusable scripts in test projects and then how can you you reuse them whenever you automate multiple test cases wherever it is required okay so if you have any questions you can provide your comments in the comment box so that i can provide you the clarifications please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you will receive notifications whenever i publish more videos on these concepts thank you